look at downtown this evening as people pour into the streets reacting to that projected win for Joe Biden. And as we showed you, some celebrating the prospect of a Biden presidency, others pushing for more scrutiny of the vote counting. Denver 7 Sloan Dickey is live Sloan. Some tensions out there, things staying mostly calm though for the most part. Yeah, mostly calm and mostly a day of celebration for the people who came out here. Pretty much the moment the election was called for the future president-elect Joe Biden, people started gathering on the hillside behind me right next to the Capitol building, celebrating, waving flags, also people in cars honking their horns. Now, there were some Trump supporters that came out here as well to make their voices heard, but it remained peaceful for the whole day. Celebrations in Denver moments after Joe Biden and Kamala Harris became America's president and vice president-elect. I'm happy! <laughs> ABC News calling the election on Saturday morning, announcing Pennsylvania would go to Joe Biden. Man, I'm seeing people blowing their horns, I'm seeing people clapping, seeing kids, dogs, <laughs> people waving their flags. Biden's supporters saying this moment is historic. And can we talk about the fact that we have the first female vice president in the United States of America? Like how momentous that is for myself, for my little nieces, for all the girls everywhere. It's just amazing. And she's amazing. History. This is amazing. Um, people coming together. USA! USA! Trump supporters came out too, not to celebrate, but to protest. We want an investigation. We want it to go all the way through. They say the election isn't over yet. If they investigate and it comes back that Donald Trump lost fair and square, we'll accept that. The Trump campaign has launched numerous lawsuits in battleground states claiming voter fraud. Those claims have not been substantiated, but the president has not conceded the election. The American people have, have spoken. Um, we're here and this is it. It's not going to change. However, supporters of the Democratic president-elect say, though the campaign has been grueling, well, he needs to try to figure out how to bring it all together for everybody. The real work has yet to begin. Now, there are fewer people out at the Capitol building right now, as many people are celebrating marching around Denver right now. Uh, so there has been a police presence today, but it was mainly to keep those Trump supporters and Biden supporters separate. Things remain peaceful throughout the day as those celebrations continue. Back to you.